We've got to start with um, 96,000, that big pool number. I mean, mm. on location, actually in a pool, water going everywhere. I mean, that has got to be one of the most logistical uh, challenges of the film. And we actually had a question from, let's see here, because I want to do it justice. Denise S44 on Instagram wanted to know the most challenging song to choreograph in film. And I'm guessing that's the one. So <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the intro to it. But let's, if not, we can go back to Denise's question because I want to talk about 96,000. <laughs> it was incredibly challenging. I, I I can't pick the most challenging number because each one had each number had its own very unique challenges. The challenge for the pool was that um, we were supposed to shoot there over two days, and we had to shoot there before the swimming pool opened for the summer. So it was around this time two years ago. It was like June twentieth, and um, and no one had ever been allowed to shoot at Highbridge Park Pool, which is right down. You can walk, the, take the same path as Navi, Benny, and Sunny, and Graffiti Peak take to the pool from the bodega. I mean, it's just right there. And um, we, and it was freezing cold and raining. And we have 500 extras and 75 dancers and our every single cast member except for Nina, um, Nina Abu and Abuela. Um, and Kevin Rosario. So you've got, you've got everyone there. Everyone's there. And wow. it was freezing the, and the water was freezing and there were heaters in the water, but no one realized the water was leaking out of the pool. There was some leak. And so the pool was constantly being filled with more cold water. And John got in the pool with, with the, with the cast and the dancers and the extras for it ended up we had to shoot there for three days in the end because the weather was not cooperating. We could shoot some some things when it was pouring rain, like underwater. But anytime you saw the surface of the water, we had to pause if it was raining. Wow. It does not look like it's raining in that scene. That's that's pretty amazing. And everyone was very, very great with like, I mean, John, we were turned towards sort of the bleachers where the... Um, salon women are singing and then i saw like this huge blue sky open up and uh, the other direction i said john can we turn around and shoot the big crane finale where you've got all the dancers and, spl and all the splashing they're in the shallow part of the pool at the very end i'm like can we do that right now they're backlit it's going to be perfect and he said sure and like everyone rallied and we did it and we got it while the sun was still out um so i mean it was very much it was it was, we were all very fluid and flexible in that week in terms of, or, or those three days in terms of what, what we were shooting and when, because we just had, the weather was a massive challenge. Now in this scene, you also have that kind of overhead shot where you all have like the synchronized swimming. Um, so you must've had a big crane over there. Were there any issues with having a crane on the pool deck? Yeah, so we, when we, conceived the shot of Vanessa singing during the Busley, Busby Berkeley shot um, of Vanessa in the pool, we always thought, oh, we'll just get a drone, shoot that. And New York City has no a no drone policy. At least they did when we were shooting. So then we started looking at cable cams. I took mm. my, um, the key grip and I went there and the rigging grip went there a whole bunch to the pool a whole bunch of times and we're just trying to figure out. But, but that didn't, that the, uh, um, cable cam wasn't the right choice. It, it, there was really no good place to rig it from. It was going to be in the way. And then we finally were like, well, we'll use a crane. But the problem is that the pool is the was the reservoir system for New York in the early 1900s. And so underneath the pool deck are all these tunnel, this whole tunnel system. And we could only put a certain amount of weight on the deck. And so really the city engineers, New York park engineers dictated what size crane we could use because they told us what weight the deck could support. And then in the end, it wasn't a big enough shot. We couldn't get wide enough. Um, so that shot is we switched to spherical lenses because um, you can use the full 8K sensor of the DXL if you use spherical lenses, whereas with anamorphic, um, you're closer to a 4K sensor size. So we were able to um, we were able to use the full 8K sensor, get a much wider shot um, than if we had stayed with anamorphic lenses.
Now, are you going to rehearsals ahead of time at like studio locations or are you doing your rehearsals on set? Um, the rehearsal process started maybe two weeks before I got to New York. Um, and the choreographer and I have known each other since 2009. Um, we did a series with John Chu called the Legion of Extraordinary Dancers. And that's where I learned the importance of going to dance rehearsal as much as possible. Um, and so John and I would spend our mornings in Washington Heights looking at locations. Then we'd meet, we'd meet Christopher Scott at the dance rehearsal spaces. We had a couple of different ones um, based on what size number. Like when we did Pacenzi, Faye, and Carnival, which have a lot of dancers and need more space, we that was staged in a beautiful dance studio in Harlem. And then a lot of the other ones were done at Ripley Greer in Midtown, which is where a lot of the Broadway shows rehearsed their, rehearsed their um, shows before they have stage space. But um, so I go to dance rehearsal as much as possible. Chris and I have a very easy relationship and can talk through things. We're very comfortable with each other. It's a great collaboration on Sundays John, on our day off, John, on one of our days off, John, Chris, and I would always spend Sunday at John's apartment just making plans, sharing videos that we took during dance rehearsal. And then, um, and then John would edit those videos to, to see, like, and we'd all discuss, start to discuss, oh, this really should be a crane shot here, or we should be low here. And, you know, things you don't have at dance rehearsal. But um, that's sort of how we built, how we started building our musical numbers. And are you doing any test shots at these rehearsals? Because like you had mentioned, you only had two days that turned into three for the 96,000 scene at, at the pool. I can I, I can only imagine that you really don't have much time to do full rehearsals on set. You, you only had a couple days. So for the pool, then the weekend before the dancers all were in the pool all weekend. Um, oh, and okay. so we, we went up there. Um, we all met up there on the weekend before we shot that number. Um, Carnival was all staged. Um, I think they went in and staged the day before, but we were shooting so we, or the Friday before, but we, so we couldn't see that, that them work it out in the space. But at the dance rehearsal space, the production designer and his team were amazing. They brought in, they, they taped off the air, like the, the, as best as possible, the size of the space we had for carnival. And, um, and then, I mean, I've got on my iPhone, I've got the dance rehearsal and so many of the shots on my phone are exactly what we did uh, the ones from dance rehearsal are like where, I mean, especially there's this one bit where, where, um, where we're sort of spinning around from, from group to group to group, from country to country to country. And, and as we did that, um, that I got that exact shot in the dance rehearsal space on my phone. 